Black and yellow killer fella, it's poisonous though. First snake of the season. Oh. Nice size too, it's been almost a minute. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we're gonna do things a little bit different than we usually do on our channel. I'm gonna do a little bit of walking and talking with y'all, just to let y'all know what's going on. Um, We've been cutting grass for the past few days. The rain that we've been getting has been causing it, has been causing the grass to grow really fast, y'all. Y'all know how much rain we've gotten in the past, and we've gotten more over the past few days, past few weeks. So I'm just going to give you an update on what we've cut so far. Our riding lawnmowers have broken. The belt came off of one. And then my starter is spinning, but not engaging to start the motor on mine. So we have to make do what we have to do. And we've been cutting with a weed eater. Well, Bobby has been cutting with a weed eater. So I'm going to show you the garden. We haven't really did too much more to the garden because the grass has gotten wild. We've been trying to keep it down. Um, but let me give you just a little tour real quick. So yesterday we came in and we'd eat it all of the grass that was in here because it grew up it grew up so fast and Bobby went in and moved the this tarp that we had down on the ground and it ended up being a snake under the tarp y'all so it was over here not sure what happened to it but the dogs probably killed it well it was already dead the dogs probably moved it and played with it somewhere else but the garden beds we will be getting a few more bags of dirt probably today to put in i'm pretty sure sky did this and i'll go in and pull the rest of these little weeds out right here but everything else i need to pick that bag out everything else seems to be almost done we'll pull this out too um i think these are weeds so i'm gonna go ahead and pull them out put some more dirt in them and then they'll be ready to go y'all hubby seems to think i won't be able to plant as many things that i usually plant because baby girl will be here in a few weeks we did not we did not record last week due to baby girl scaring us and let me turn away from the wind because i don't want it to mess with the mic so due to baby girl scaring us i did do a non-stress test and what happened is they realized i was having contractions every four minutes which is kind of scary so they just told me to take it easy we didn't come out and do anything but this week we are going to get it rocking and rolling because everything looked good and it's time for us to get it done y'all so i need to figure out what i'm gonna do i need to hurry up and go get the fence so i could block the dogs from coming in here and digging it up like you've seen in that bed um so i'm just about to give you a tour of how the grass is looking right now and the weeds and the blue bonnets and whatnot and then we'll walk over to where hubby is cutting so we can move the trailers over there we have a, a road we have road base back there where the trailers are supposed to go but it's been overgrown with grass so now we need to cut it down and that's what hubby is doing over there so we can um put the trailers back where they're supposed to go 
So come on with us.
show me what you spray. Huh? I said, show me what you spray. Dude, it is so windy right now. What Bobby doing is going in, spraying the outside with this weed and grass killer so we won't get as much weeds and grass in here as it usually gets and then we're gonna come back in and put some rocks some little black rocks to keep the grass from growing that way i can maneuver in my garden without having to walk up on snakes or any other rodents All right, okay. I uh go over there and do it. Cause I did say it was a snake somewhere around here. Where? Where? Oh, see little guy coat. That looks like a <laughs> And they always say pay attention to your surroundings. Bobby being funny, and he done put the snake. Put the snake on my uh, fence. I wasn't looking. Gonna come in and spray all this, kill as much grass and weeds that we could kill. We're gonna eventually move this out of here too. Because we don't want no more surprises to be up underneath this tarp. But this was mulch that I had down, so we'll figure out something to do with that. 